going on everybody? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe. Excited to be back at it today with another natural gas review. So this is going to serve as our second natural gas review. This is one of the instruments I trade the most. It's actually my favorite um, vehicle to trade daily. So a lot of my day trades and a lot of my day in day out type trading is with the natural gas future. So I think this is a really good thing for us to build a base on through, through the channel just because a lot of these trades are going to relate to natural gas itself. And there's been a lot going on with natural gas really this last year. Ever since our last video for the natural gas review, there's been a ton going on in the markets post COVID really all of that disrupted the supply chain. And then there was the Ukraine Russian war and a lot of that fundamentally changed how natural gas is supplied throughout the entire world. So um, we'll do kind of a top-down analysis just like we did last time, but we'll take a look at the current state of natural gas and what we can really expect going into 2023 and for the remainder of the year. And if we look at natural gas, really there's a lot going on. So natural gas is a range-bound market that really goes anywhere from two historically all the way up potentially to about 15 which is what it's done in history only a couple times. So it's not a trending market like the S&P 500 where it's always going up typically. It's actually pretty horizontal, right? So when these big reactions happen in the markets, there are definitely things that we need to keep an eye out for. Like, you know, with COVID and with the Ukraine war and multiple other events throughout history, there can be pretty erratic price action, but typically, right, that sweet spot for gas, we'll look here on the max time frame, is between, right, two and five. This is that range that gas typically stays in, and then every now and then, right, it'll poke through to 10, and then if it's super extreme environments, fundamentally speaking, it can get all the way up to the teens. So something to keep in mind, and we'll talk a lot through kind of what's happened this past year, because we did make a move from 1.4 all the way up to 10, and then we're all the way back at 2.5. So we've had a ton of upside potential, ton of downside potential. It's been absolutely insane to trade, so excited to kind of break it down more. If we drop down to our daily time frame, this gives us a better depiction of kind of what's happened the last 365 days. So if we look back, right, like we looked at just before this, gas had gone all the way up to 10. It had kind of a double top up here where it went to 10 and faded, went to 10 again and faded. And this is right around when we made that first video. We didn't know if that five level would hold as a support zone, right? We can see that there was quite a zone here where buyers did step in once, twice, and then three times here where buyers did step in closer to that breakout level. And this is kind of what we were looking at last time. So we did notice that this was a lower low, so it did not look like a healthy uptrend. We also saw a lot of sellers up here. Every time there was a push, there was a pretty substantial drop. So it was by no means a great uptrend. It actually looks a lot like Bitcoin. So if you look at Bitcoin, right, Bitcoin went to 60K and then came back to around the 30s, pushed up again, made a higher high, and then it's kind of failed all year as well. So kind of interesting there. It's been kind of the same sort of move. But what ended up happening, right, was gas did bounce at that five level. It actually went above seven. So it, it had a pretty big bounce. And then it actually faded back. So the 200-day moving average, this is an indicator I have on my charts. I have another video kind of going through all my other indicators. But we'll notice throughout the whole year, this 200-day moving average kind of held up natural gas. And when that actually broke, 
we'll notice that it actually ended up turning into the resistance area. So not only did it make a lower low, but it also flipped to where that 200 day moving average was acting as a ceiling instead of a low like it had in the past. And then we had talked about this a little bit in the video, but we knew that if that five level broke, we really didn't have much support. So we had a small level here where we thought buyers might step in right around the four level, and it's also a whole number. But as you can see, right, price just got slammed. So it faded all the way through that. And really the last couple months have been spent just shorting. There's been tons of potential, obviously, from five to two and a half. So it's been in a really steady downtrend, fading all the way back maybe to those lows that we just looked at. So you'll notice we still have a ton of room here and if we look a little bit closer, the hourly chart has been a chart I've been looking at quite a bit from my swing trades and day trades. But this shows you right what natural gas has been doing this last 20 trading days or this last month. And we'll notice right that 200 day moving average or 200 period moving average, the red line here is acting as the ceiling now for gas. And it really gasses in just a really healthy downtrend. So we'll notice here, right, any time that we have a pop, we have a drop to a lower low. And then we have a lower high, lower low. And it's really continued that trend the entire month. So this is as picture perfect of an uptrend or downtrend as possible, right? We're looking for those pivot points and this has pretty much been perfect. We haven't seen another pullback in quite a while. So this was quite a long time ago. I think this was like at the end of January where it did pop up here to the moving average. Since we have made quite a bit of a lower low, if we just measure this out, if you took this as a swing trade, that would be like a $10,000 swing trade per contract. So super, super lucrative here. Um, and we're looking really for the same sort of move. So now that we've made a pretty clear lower low and we have room to the downside, we're looking for more a, of a pop up to this moving average right around three for potential downside momentum there. So these next few weeks with gas, right, maybe expect a little bit of a bounce. I could see us basing out at some point and then pushing up to that moving average. The one thing everybody to be careful about though is we won't see a strong uptrend most likely. We will face some serious resistance. And then even if we do push through this moving average, we have a pretty big floor zone here and then a pretty big floor zone here. So unless gas makes a pretty big push, I don't see it getting much above this moving average since it has an all month. And then if it does, be a little bit careful there because it did last time, it poked through a little bit and then it was a pretty big bull trap, right? You'll notice it poked through and then just faded quick and flushed down. So I could see it popping up to maybe that prior resistance level or that new resistance level per se and failing. And then worst case, right, if that level's off, it might have enough to push it to three and a half, but then there's a major floor level that would be a major resistance level as well. So definitely be on the lookout for both some uptrending pop days as well as some longer term downtrends. And hopefully this helps a ton with kind of how to strategize trading natural gas and what we can expect in the near future. Thanks everybody.